In this lesson, you will learn how to add a financial dimension to an existing Atlas Upload template. Now this template could be any template that you download off of the GLOBE's website. It could be maybe a journal entry, budgets. In this case, uh, we are going to add a department to a free text invoice upload. So to get ourselves set up correctly, we need to first add a new column to the table that we are using in our upload. So the way you do this is you can right click and then insert table columns. So in that way, you maintain the integrity of your upload by keeping uh, the, the new column part of the table. The next thing we want to do is highlight the cells that represent the data that we will be uploading and name that range in the name box in the upper left hand corner and then click enter. Okay, so now I have a new column. I have some departments populated there and I have my uh, range name department. And you can double check that by looking in the box up there. So all I have to do now is go to my upload template and I'm just going to navigate to, uh, I'm in edit mode by the way, I'm going to navigate to the line area because I want the department associated with my free text invoice line. So you'll see there's a little plus sign here on the right hand side and when I click that it opens up the pane that allows me to select my financial dimensions or other fields for that matter. So I know that I'd like department so I see as soon as I start typing here, there are four fields that have departments in here. Uh, I don't want to select the ones that end in CN, underscore CN. Whenever we see the underscore like this as a suffix, uh, we know that that's a localization that we're not really interested in. Uh, but these two fields look promising. In this case, I've already run a little test and I know that my default dimension is the one that I want to populate so I'm going to mark that off and close that window. So now you see that I have a new field but it is yet unmapped. So all I need to do to map this field to this column of data is right click and look for my other names and the other name that I'm interested in is department. So I selected that and now I've added my field. I'm just going to run a little test. Click run. Okay, it looks like I have created a free text invoice with a couple of lines. Let's go check it out. And here's my new invoice. So let's just have a look at the lines by opening it up. My two lines. And here are my line details with my financial dimensions. So there you have it. We have a cost or a department on both lines, which is great. Hope this helped.